Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 26, part 2 on my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, our task was very much clear. We gotta get this plane from Britain all the way to Australia by the end of the year, and you might have noticed something. Look at this. This is because in the previous episode, I actually forgotten to save my game. So, basically... I had to rebuild my entire system from scratch, but I thought I would also add some extra routes and extra vehicles to basically make some money. Because, gosh, we'll need every single penny to basically complete this mission. So, in this episode, we're going to continue on expanding our operations and hopefully getting our first supplies delivered to London. First things first, we got to have a look at some of the vehicles around here. For one, the vehicles, I should say, need some new equipment. My two trains carrying o crude oil will need some new rolling stock. Let's see, both of these are moguls. I'll add one of these here. And I had to replace one of the mods with a different mod because that one did not have a tanker wagon. So I'll make this at 350 units for both of them. And at a brick van, that will be about 22.8 million credits. Alright. Now let's basically replace the train for carrying logs and the one for carrying steel. Well, carrying logs as well as one carrying lumber and steel. Since, this train, since the train carrying steel and lumber will be carrying 50-50 of each, I might as well just put 50-50 of each as well. So, for this one carrying the logs, since it's going to be carrying 200, 420, I'll need to basically put it at 280, I believe. As this one... Since it's carrying both lumber and steel at the same time, I'm going to put it at 420. Actually, there we go. Now it's carrying half the loads needed for half a load of, coal, of lumber. We'll need to get some new trains to pick up loads of... Uh, refined oil and take them to their respective destinations. I also realized if we're going to get tools delivered to this port, I will need to get some trucks in service. So, we'll put down 10 of the bends of trucks. Put them on tools. And another 10 for picking up loads of, well, fuel. With that done, I believe we have our two trains of tools. Yep. So, I'm going to basically select both of these. Get a mogul, of course. And get some box vans to pick up the loads of tools and bring them to their respective destinations. I'm actually going to put them at 306, 350 and then put one brake van. Alright. Now I'll just have to do the same for the fuel trains. I'll basically clone both the trains that are carrying the oil. Which, by the way, I need to set up in the European mainland engine depot as to not send one of those trains to their respect to a wrong destination. So let's see. I'll need one of these moguls, All 
right? And then a couple of these tankers. They'll all carry 280 units of fuel each. Well, oil, and then another two to carry 48.3. This is going to make me so, so in much debt. I'll buy both of these and put them to work on the refined oil trains. Then I'll have to purchase another pair to deliver fuel. Which will be another 48 million credits. Alright, we'll get the moguls again, and going back to British goods wagons, we'll get 280 units of fuel for both. Add a brake van. Put it to work on G1 and G2. And also, I'll need to replace the locomotive, replace the trains carrying coal and iron ore. Which, by the way, are being used by two by these Garrett type engines because of their immense pulling power. I'll have several of these five plank wagons carrying about 420 units of cargo each. I'll get a brake van, and it requires 28.6 million pounds. Well, not pounds, credit. Jeez. Sometimes I can't talk. Alright. Replace. And basically, now that I think about it, I want to also color code my passenger trains. So, the British passenger train, the trains of European of, Euro, of mainland Europe, will have red. Will basically be painted in dark blue. Yep. So basically, my passenger, all my passenger trains in Europe will be dark blue. The passenger trains in the Middle East will be green, and the ones in the in the Far East will be painted red. Other than that, though, it will soon be time to basically start making good amount of profit. I also set up some routes to also deliver supplies here. Why am I picking up tools here? I'm only dropping off the tools. So we got fuel and tools here. But however, there's actually a food processing plant located here in Constantinople. And thankfully, there's a fishery located in Athens, Greece. So, let's build a branch line to connect to the connect the town as well as the fishery to Constantinople. I'll have to basically place this here. Make the ground a little more acceptable for a train station. Place this here so passengers can tr at least travel to this town. And we'll start by laying down the track work. After we replace the original tr the vanilla track with this. All right. I'll convert this to the angular type tunnel. I'll have to convert this into another into something else as well. I'll lay down the tr 
lay down this. And then connect it to the main line here. And since there's going to be both a passenger and a freight train using this route, I'm basically going to set up a double-tracked main line. And I'm running low on funds again. But thankfully though, with all my trains now running at full speed and delivering their respected commodities to their destinations, I should be able to earn enough money in a matter of moments. Because we are getting food processed and delivering it to the airport. We just need to do is just deliver loads of tools and fuel. Thankfully, it won't be too long. As my vehicles have actually been making quite a steady profit over time. Which has basically brought us enough money to build this tunnel. And plus, since I'm double tracking it. The cost of the tunnel has basically been reduced by half because it's following the secondary track. We'll expand the track to the left outside of Constantinople, as this will be known as the Athens Branch. We'll build a through this tunnel through this hillside, convert this into this. Well, I also want to make sure that this it's a full tunnel. And I also added the low-cost landscaping mod into the game as well. We'll need 2.26 million credits to basically complete that extension. But, with our new boat trains, as well as all the other services I actually did when I was rebuilding the map, I was a these services are going to provide us a lot of additional revenue. Plus, the ferry service between England and France is doing pretty well, as there are tons of passengers at the platforms wanting to travel into Lyon in France. Let's see... Hmm... What else? I will need to, uh... Dang, we had enough money, but then it disappeared. Hmm... Well, our local passenger trains are making money. All I just need is one sudden burst of cash. Ugh. I'm just gonna borrow some more money from the bank. And then quickly build the this track before it goes back down. Which it already has. Unsurprisingly. Ugh. 700 million credits. I have a feeling we might have to go into a billion credits by the time we're done with this mission. But however, though, we'll basically have enough money, hopefully later on, to finish the expansions on all of our systems. Oh, by the way, our new si we also received some new signals. We now have the United States semaphore signals for home, distant, and basically the stock standard one, as well as the excuse me, as well as the dwarf variants. Do this and this. Add a signal on this side, as well as here. And now we can get started on the new Athens branch. We'll basically connect the station at Constantinople and bring it to Athens. This will be known as Local Train EM for European Mainland G. And this service will deliver passengers from Constantinople into Greece. We'll paint it gray and we'll need to set up a new service as well. One to pick up fish from the fishery. This will be known as Freight Train EM. M I fish. Put it in blue. Full load of ten minutes. 
And then we're going to also deliver this load of, fit, of food from Constantinople into, into Lyon to be dropped off at the airport. Because I heard, I believe, when the last time I did this mission, this was way before I started my YouTube channel, I believe that the more supplies you bring in, basically, to an airport, like if you bring a whole buttload of uh, food, tools, and fuel, the plane will actually fly to a much farther destination. So, if we supply these airports with a good amount of fuel, food, and tools, we can basically get it all the way to a very far region of the map without making small layovers at smaller airports. But, it's just a theory for now. Anyways, now with all of its be- Hang on. I'll have to set all of my vehicles to 50%. Anyway, now with that done, We'll need about 21.3 million for another, to clone this local train to be used on the new Greece service. And then we'll also need to set up a new train as well. We'll possibly use the 060 goods engine. And a couple of these co goods vans, and pick them in this color to indicate they're refrigerated. We'll basically put about 420 units to pick up the loads of fish and bring them down to the heart or bring them down to the food processing plant in Constantinople and deliver the foods to the Lyon airport. That way, the plane can easily fly into Lyon fill up with food, tools, and fuel, and then fly to its next destination. Wait a minute. Did I get a white brake van? I did not want that. Let me see. Because I have seen the brake van in multiple different colors. It does not look good. Anyway. We'll probably get... The 260 Mogul. And we'll get about 350 units of food. Get a brake fan. 28.1 million credits. Purchase that, and then put it onto the foodstuffs. Alright. Now with that done, our new vehicles should be on their way to pick up their new loads. Now with the new local passenger service running between Constantinople and, of course, Athens, Greece, we might as well also set up a new bus service here too. So we can at least get everybody to where they need to go. Okay, we'll need to add the station of School Lane and York Road. This will be known as Bus Service E for Europe, and it's going to be E, and it's going to basically serve Athens. You might notice the EME service. That's because it's serving a bus service that will take passengers from the European trains to the ones in the Middle East, which we'll be actually getting to in a moment or so. Anyway, with that done, we'll get a pair of these buses, double decker buses, and put them to work on the new bus service in Athens. And thankfully, our fishery is starting to produce fish and the station has passengers waiting to board. Which means this train at, at Athens will be ready to pick up passengers as soon as it pulls in. All the while, our own express train actually... Hmm. It actually had made a profit before, but I think it might be having a bit of a problem. 
but anyways. Oh, crumbs. There are signals blocking all of them. I guess I'll have to basically put them a little closer to the junctions. But yeah, not to mention, I feel like the stations in your, this station in Neil needs a better roof. So, out of all the station types, we'll save this one for the Middle East, we'll use this one in, in the Far East, and use this one in Europe. So once we place down these roofs, station will not will be fully covered up because I want to at least have a nice grand passenger station on all of my three routes in the three particular regions anyway why is this train supposed to pick up drop pick up grain it's supposed to unload tools let's see speaking of which that train of tools has basically arrived, and it will start producing the tools from both the lumber and steel. Thankfully, with the new two, and with those tools brought in, this could basically increase the level of the airport. Also, why am I picking up refined fuel here? I'm only picking up as refined oil. Uh. And why am I picking up refined oil when there's... I need to pick up only fuel. Uh. Seems like some of my equipment is getting very mixed up. Wait. Did I put a fuel? I meant to put a crude refined oil. Which train G2 is on its way to Leon with fuel for the airport. Let's see. Alright, the airport is nearly fully loaded, and I think with our supplies of tools coming in soon, as well as our first supplies of fuel, yeah, tools and fuel. I believe this we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!